everybody. As you can tell, my face is a little bit swollen, and yes, it is also a little bit burnt. The weird thing I have on my face, I don't know if you can see it, but my dad actually put aloe vera on it to help with the swelling and the burnness. I go a little bit hard when I tan. I did not get a good sleep whatsoever last night. All sorts of sounds and noises were coming from outside, and I think it was just the ropes like slamming against each other, and it was also a super windy day, so any sort of sound was coming from outside into my ear, and it was just awful and prevented me having a good sleep. Also last night when I was going to sleep, my brother was being a complete hooligan and was dancing with Soldier Boy. Take a look. <laughs> As you can hear, the engines are going and we are going off to the next island. Mom's making eggs. Yummy, yummy. So off we go to the next island. It's called St. Vincent's. And obviously we can't see it because we have ways to go. It's so windy. We got to watch out for all our stuff because it's just going to fly into the ocean. But also what's really good about the wind is when we prop the sails up, that basically was just going to take us straight to the next island. So more wind equals faster boat. Offering to help out. So they just basically come up to our boat and haggle and bargain and try to sell those services. At most, it's usually three boats selling all different things. It's usually one to help us dock, one to um, give us tours, and then one to sell some like. Um, all settled in and buckle down. I am beyond burnt right now. Beyond burnt right now. I'm setting up my GoPro and we're gonna go a little bit of a snorkeling. I think it's out of batteries. No way. Let me uh, go to see what's happening. Uh, uh, you Yeah, only one. Um, a, 
of an announcement for them to come pick us up, but they're not really listening. The sun is going down and it's absolutely beautiful. We had the opportunity to go snorkeling just across the reefs over there. And now we're just basically chilling until the end of the day. And I don't know if tomorrow we're gonna be going onto another island or we're staying here, but I, I really, I, uh, I, I really, I really, I really can't complain. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful here. So basically, whenever you're boating around or yachting around the islands, you really do want to be careful because the locals do, and I mean other people as well. It doesn't really matter. Have the tendency to steal, <laughs> to come onto your boat and do some crime. So it's really important just to like lock all the windows and to make sure if you guys are leaving off the boat or for whatever reason you're all in one area when it gets dark you really can't see anything so just be careful because crime does happen anywhere in the world so that is just like one tip if you were to be yachting around in the caribbean just to watch out <laughs> Okay, that's it for the vlog. I'm gonna end it here. Everyone actually went to bed, so I'm gonna be joining them, not in their bed, but in my own. So yeah. I just wanna say goodnight and I'll You're see you guys soon. Bum, bum.